Hi everyone, welcome back to Dev.Doge Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming with Java. Now, let's create our first program. Before we even get started, let's see at least how it works and say the first famous words that every developer should say. You have a couple options. Uh, if you want to have something prettier, you can download Visual uh, Studio Code. Visual Studio Code. So just type Visual Studio Code, code.visualstudio.com, and then you can um, download for Windows or whatever uh, you are using. In my case, I have it downloaded here. Basically, it's just next, next install. Uh, and then you can just search for Visual Studio Code. Okay, I have it available here. Um, you have to be very careful. Right now, I'm not going to explain in depth uh, what's going to happen. I'm just going to write a program and I would like you to do the same. Now, every programming language, as I spoke about it and you probably already researched it, they have their own, what we call, syntax. In Java, it's the same. And basically, we have to do something like this. First, if you type public here and you see black, it means that the Visual Studio Code does not recognize this as Java. You see here at the bottom corner right, just select plain text and then you search for Java. So then it's going to ask you if you want to install all the extensions. If you want, you can uh, install all of them, but it's not required because we are going to use something that's better for Java than the Visual Studio Code and it's also free. Okay, so we have here public and then I'm going to type something else. I'm going to type class and I'm going to write a name for this class. Now I'm going to open curly braces and Visual Studio Code is already closing it for me. So basically every time you write something in Java, it needs to be inside these curly braces. It's like, okay, I'm beginning my code here and I'm, I'm ending my code here. So this is syntax, this is something that you have to do. Now we have here public class hello and I'm going to create here what we call method, but you don't have to worry about this now. Public static void main and then string args and again you open and close curly braces now one very important thing here this is quite complex to explain uh, when we go into the java one for all you're going to understand everything that we have here after like 60 uh, or so videos because there is a lot of concepts going on with this this block but for us what we have to understand here is three things. First, the syntax. Second, the, that we have a class. Third, we have a method. What is syntax? Java is a case sensitive. So if you write public and you write public, as you can see, it's different. So in Java, the case sensitive words, they are usually keywords. Keywords is something that's created uh, for Java that's used as part of the language itself. So you cannot use, for example, I don't, I cannot use a name for this class as one of the keywords. For example, I cannot call uh, this hello class. Uh, for example, I cannot call it void. So this will not work. So basically, we have to be careful with the syntax. So everything is lowercase. There is a standard, a convention in Java that all the name of the class should be like with the first letter uppercase. If you have like composed words, hello world, the first letter of each word should be uppercase, so a capital letter. And we have a method that's always, uh, we are going to have this written several times, but we always will have to start with the main method, especially for this course. So I'm saying here, hey, I have uh, something that's a class. The class is going to wrap our code. And then we are going to have a method. Basically, a method is the starting point. It's basically you are telling the, the GVM, hey, you start here. So this is what we are going to do with this main method. And now we are going to write uh, like a message. So in this case, S here and S here, they are uppercase. And then system out print ln. So basically I'm telling, hey, send out to the system, just this line. So print the line in the system 
and just jump one line this is line next just skip one line and then you're going to open and close parentheses and you are going to add a semicolon now in java you either going to close with curly braces open and close or you're going to end with semicolon so this is the syntax of java and now in between double quotes so we have double quotes here this is the message that we add and we have to write the famous words that no developer is going to ever forget in their life hadouken and now we are going to save so this is the thing it's very important that yours should look exactly like this word by word only what you have inside this double quote is like a free text you can write anything that you want that's not going to affect the your program this is the output that we are going to print to the system now saving we come here file and then you can just save this Control s and then you have here save as type now i'm going just to to save here uh, for example at uh, at desktop no, I'm saying at documents and I'm going to name the file name is extremely important the file name must be exactly as the name of your public class in this case hello make sure that you have save as type Java and then you just save it okay so now we have our hello.java and uh, you can see some uh, messages here but you don't have to to worry about this now okay so we have our first program here how, how do we run if we go back to our diagram we have now instead of app.java we have hello.java and then we have to go for the process of compilation so how do we do that now let's do it manually come here to where you put your in my case i put the the java inside of the documents so i'm just going to open here cmd if i type dear i will see that i have this is a nice game by the way that i have here hello.java it's very important that your file is named dot java you have to be very careful if you want to make sure let me search here you can come view and then somewhere here you have uh file names extensions so make sure that you check the file name extensions because it needs to be java sometimes if you use the if you use the notepad it will have for example here let me rename it will be something like this if you use notepad dot txt dot java okay so make sure that you have dot java okay so i have here hello dot java then i'm coming back here and I will do the following. I need to first compile. What is compile? I have to change the hello.java into hello.class. Java C hello.java. Basically, compile that hello.java. And now, if you go back and you list the directories, you will see that we have hello.class hello.class is also available here so if you just come and right click and for example open with and you try to open let's say more apps here visual studio code so if you try to open here you will see that it's not able to display anything now if you come back here and try for example to open with notepad so if uh, you go to properties and you change the open with and you open with notepad and then you press apply ok so now you're going to open with notepad if you take a look this is how it kind of looks like so you can understand some things but in the end this is supposed to be understood by the JVM so it's not something readable but there are programs that are able to uh, move this back to Java Okay, so the dot class doesn't matter for us, it matters for the JVM. So what are we going to do now? We have to tell the JVM, hey, a JVM, just execute the hello dot class. Going back to the terminal, now that you have your 
hello.class. Instead of using Java C, we are going just to call the virtual machine Java, and then we are going to give the name, but without the dot class. This is the tricky part. Some people they just add the dot class, and then you get this error. But you should just type. Let me clear here. Java, the name without any extension, and then you have your message. Pretty cool, huh? What if you want to change something? Well, if you want to change something, you go back. For example, you are going to change the power, and I'm going to save. You see here, that means that I didn't save. So I'm going to save, and I'm going to execute Java Hello again. What's going to happen? We still have Hadouken. Why? Because we changed the source code, the hello.java, but we didn't compile again. So the JVM is still reading the old dot class file. So what do we have to do here? We have to go through Java C and then hello dot Java. So it's going to override the dot class and then we can call again now Java hello. And we have the new option. So this is the process of compilation and then the JVM is doing uh, interpretation of your bytecode. In the end, this process is pretty painful. That's why we have IDEs that are development environments that will make this process transparent. We are not going to see this happening. So we know what happens if I have like an error, like what happens if I forget, for example, the semicolon. So I removed, you can see that the Visual Studio Code say, hey, there is something wrong here. And if you read the, the text, it's saying, hey, you need to insert semicolon. But let's say you just ignore it, then we save it. And now we are going to compile again, Java compiler, hello.java. And you are going to see that we have an error. So basically, if you look at this and you look at this, we have basically the same message. The IDEs, they are there especially for, for these kind of problems. They are always kind of compiling behind the scenes and checking if you have any errors. Otherwise, you would never know until you compile. So the compilation process is going to check if it, your program is syntactically correct. It means that you wrote everything in a way that Java understands. It doesn't mean that your program is right or is doing the business logic correctly, but it means that at least there are no syntax errors. So to fix this, you just add the semicolon, you save, control S, and then you come here again, and then Java C, you just press arrow up, Java C hello.java, and you can see it compiled successfully, no error messages, and then Java hello. Pretty cool, huh? So this is your first program. What you have to remember is that in Java, everything will be inside a class. These classes that we are going to write, they will have methods. The method is what's going to trigger the action. But don't worry, because we are going to write this so many times that you are going to memorize even if you don't want to. So see you in the next video, because we are going to install something that is going to make our life pretty easy. That is an ID. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.